What's up guys? Today I want to show you a few accessories that I've gotten for my Mini 14. Okay, so the first one is this leather sling. And I got this leather sling from Cabela's and it's basically just a military style leather sling. I really like it a lot. It's, it's pretty heavy duty and it adds a little bit of weight to the gun, but it's okay. I, I like how robust this sling is. All right, the second accessory that I've added to the mini is this AccuStrut. And, and here is the AccuStrut SOCOM. I'm told by a few people that it's not really going to add too much accuracy to the 580 series of minis, but two things I know I can get out of it for certain is one thing, it'll kind of take away from the heat of the barrel. Just a little bit, it'll kind of transfer to the, to the strut. Because this is a tactical model and this barrel is super short, um, it'll kind of help with the heat. The second thing I know it will help with is recoil. <laughs> Don't be fooled by this little thing. It's small, but it's got some weight to it. You could definitely, I could definitely tell a difference in the overall weight of the rifle after I added it. And so that's gonna help with some rising muzzle action. It's gonna take away from that uh, rising muzzle and kind of help you keep stay on target a little bit easier. And the final accessory and the most obvious one that I've added is the Holosun 510C Red Dot. I did a lot of searching before I decided on this Red Dot. And that one seems to have gotten the best reviews out of all the ones I was looking through. And the biggest benefit for me personally that it has is it's got a solar panel on top of it. And for me, that's just crucial. The biggest th reason why I've stayed away from red dots is because they're just battery powered. But with the solar panel, the sucker will just keep on going forever. As long as you're in the light, it'll keep on going. I haven't even put a battery inside of it. Of course, it came with two batteries but I haven't even put a battery inside of there and this thing works. Oh, there it is, oh, there it is. Yeah, you see it? So it, it stays on and works just fine with uh, no battery even inside of it. So I'm really happy with you know how it looks and how robust it is. It's really sturdy. It's got this overprotective shell right here on top of it. So it's a little bit harder to break that, that glass. And I haven't shot the gun with the red dot on just yet, but I am gonna be out there very soon to shoot it and see how see how good I like it. So the gun overall, just with those two accessories or three accessories, has added some overall weight to it. It uh it's a noticeable difference. I really uh didn't think it was gonna add this much, but if I compare it to my AR-15 Springfield St. Victor, it's, it's just about the same weight as the Victor. It's uh, really hard to tell a difference between them. And really, I can tell you right now that the AR, because I've added all these uh, scales to the front of it, 
it's a lot more front heavy. In the first um, shooting video of the Mini 14, I, I said that the Mini kind of kicks a little bit more than the AR does. Well, with my particular setup right here, since the AR is very front heavy because of all these scales that I put on, it makes sense that this one's gonna feel like it kicks more because there wasn't as much weight at the barrel end as there was on the AR. So after I got both of them and kind of compared them, I was like, oh, of course, that, that's the reason why the Mini felt like it kicked a little bit more. <clears throat> Now of course it may still it may still be the case because this has just got a different gas system and the gas system in the AR is supposed to kind of be a little bit, you know, as far as recoil goes, it's supposed to be a little bit less than the mini is. But honestly, when you're shooting them, you can barely tell the difference. But yeah, so I just wanted to show off some of the upgrades that I've added to the Mini 14. Uh, I'm going to get out there really soon and see how she handles and see if I really love that red dot or not. It's nice. I'm very happy with it. I love that solar panel feature. Okay. Well, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.